welcome back welcome back loves welcome back to queen cancer tarot channel everybody and we actually are in the extended and this is for cancers dealing with a cancer now this is an actual major warning here um cancers that we are looking at because Like I said, I'm feeling the energy of this person not being happy. I do see you standing up in your power with this hierophant in the tower. I feel like this person is not expecting it. I feel like this person was in the ego and the arrogance of, you know, I bet you now that cancer, you know, now that I want to settle down with cancer, she's just going to, you know, fall into my hands or he's going to fall into my hands now. Well, not so much. Okay. Because what this person is not realizing, okay, is that you were an empress from day one. Do you see what I'm saying, Cancer? You were an empress from day one. And this person is going to have to, they're going to have to come to terms with that in a major way. And it's going to hit them like a ton of bricks. It's going to hit them like a ton of bricks here. So we're going to clarify here. And I'm going to use the tarot here. So let's see what is up with organize. I feel like you have cleared your space. Okay. You've told this person that there's, you know, you don't have time for them anymore. Organizing your schedule. You're not making time for this person. And they are feeling like, you know, you stole something. <laughs> Okay, and there's an energy of, you know, now they, you know, are in the energy of energy vampire. Now they want to come and rob you of your energy in some sort of way. Or literally rob you. Okay, uh, lock your doors, watch your money and assets coming through. So theft and assets coming through at the same time here with Organize. I feel like you really need to clear your space because or clear your uh friends list because somebody is not a friend here four pentacles here so something you need to guard or hold closely here cancer okay don't take this lightly this four of pentacles is one of being insecure feeling like you know i don't want to say feeling like a victim but like prey okay like you really need to watch and keep yourself you know, guarded very closely underneath the deck, the nine of cups. So this talks about someone happiness or wish fulfillment. So this person is going to come in and take your happiness. Okay. They want to come and rob you of your happiness. So I feel like this person is going to be in a very vengeful energy. Okay. Perhaps. So tell me about theft here. Holy Spirit, interesting guys. And we have the Seven of Swords. Once again, theft, stealing, uh, doing something behind your back, being dishonest. Okay, I don't trust this person. I feel like I am going to release this as a free extended. I will release this in the morning for you all. So, um, you know, so I love you and God bless you. And I hope that you, if you do resonate with this message, you are protecting yourself, okay, from this person. Because again, I don't see them coming back with any happiness. It says futility here. So this person's angry, okay, and they want to rob you or take from you so that you're in that same energy. Under the deck, seven of wands, again, protect yourself, from this person, Eight of Swords, I feel like you need to block this person. It says, lock your doors. That's what it says. Lock your doors. And, and with the Eight of Swords here and the Seven of Wands here, this is all about protection. This is all about pushing this person back, telling this person, you know what? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. You don't have to give me my keys back. I got the locks changed and you are no longer welcome within a hundred feet of my property or I will be calling the law. <laughs> okay. So, cause again, I'm seeing this person coming in upset. Okay. Tell me about assets. 
maybe you had something that this person no longer see five of pentacles this person is worried about not having what they used to have you know what i'm saying i feel like money wise or with assets you brought a lot to the table and now you know that you're completely pushing this person you know away they're concerned about being left out in the cold here queen of wands here under the deck see now this person is now forced to go and be with those third parties you're like you know what why don't you go and borrow it from the third parties that you left me hanging for <laughs> you see what i'm saying with the wheel of fortune like everything has completely changed for this person and it's happened all of a sudden it was like overnight with the king of cups now you have completely turned your emotions off towards this person this is someone who's more mature someone who is guarding their feelings guarding their heart once again guarding their heart is coming in so i would just be mindful you know don't let this person in i don't know if this person would physically do anything but i feel like this person is definitely wanting to see you unhappy wanting to see your heart hurting so i would i would be mindful of this okay so let's now take a look to see what the challenges are or what you don't see coming so let's see let's go ahead and pull from the oracle deck here and then we'll clarify oh so look the chaser the chaser so look we have a, a runner and a chaser so this is a classic twin flame situation where you have two people okay um and one is a runner and the chaser one is a fear of abandonment issues you see what I'm saying? And then you have one person who has a fear of intimacy. So one person who's afraid of getting too close and one person who's afraid of being left alone. And so we have a chaser. And so what's funny, and this is what you don't see coming. This is the runner. The runner has now become the chaser. Believe it or not, Cancer, now we have a runner who has turned into a chaser. Underneath the deck, what do we have here? Lightning, the tower. What did I tell you? Now with the Hierophant energy, you coming in and teaching this person a lesson with that tower moment, this came all of a sudden. Like they didn't expect you to come out like this. They didn't, they didn't expect this. Um, you know what I'm saying? They, they did not. And so you changed the game. You flipped the script on this person. And now they're chasing you. Now, all of a sudden, they have found themselves chasing you again. Underneath the deck, we have Girl with the Snake. So this is an empath and narcissist. So you could be dealing with a narcissist. And uh, we all know that cancers most more than likely are empaths or highly intuitive. And I feel like this is that energy here. And this talks about being charmed, okay, or being used, okay, um, or letting this person pass certain boundaries, enabling this person, giving this person the opportunity to come in and do this. And I feel like cancers, they're at some point, you just decided to put your foot down. You weren't gonna take it into your future in this energy. So let's go ahead and clarify here. Tell us about this chaser here for cancer. Interesting guys, tell us about the chaser here. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell us about the chaser. And we have the high priestess. See, you have ascended, okay? Period, point blank. You have ascended um, beyond this person. This is, like I said, classic twin flame connection where you have two people. They start off on the same 
paradigm, or at least they feel like they are. But then at some point, you know, one person naturally ascends and the other person either evil wobbles, but it may not be at the same time. You know, at some point you may find yourself on the same field, but it's not very often in the connection. And it's just up and down, up and down, up and down with this person. That's classic twin flame connection here. Okay, and with that page of swords under the deck, now there's an energy of this person. Now they can't reach you in the same manner. With that page of swords, this is somebody who's having to look you up online to get at you. Do you see what I'm saying? They're having to get you, catch you on your social media because either you're not responding to this person directly, this person has, you know, you've moved away or you're at a distance from this person. Okay, we saw the King of Cups. I feel like you could have moved. Okay, but you're at a distance from this person. They're not able to get at you like they want, but they're watching you. They are watching you. Okay. Um, and they want to communicate with you. This person wants to talk. Tell me about lightning, please. Tell me about lightning. And we have the Ten of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is classic representation of someone being emotionally fulfilled, having everything that they want stable, like everything. They just know that they know that you know, cancer is coming home tonight, you know what I'm saying? Or cancer is going to be there when they get there. Okay. With that lightning bolt, it's like they came home and your hangers were still swinging in the closet. That's, that's how, how fast and quick you got out of there. Hangers still swinging. So there's an energy of lightning bolts and 10 of cups, like this home, happy home situation or situation where they thought you were satisfied, you really weren't here. And it's going to be shocking news for this person to find out that, you know, you're not waiting for them or you're not giving them another chance. Under the deck, page of swords in the, in, it's in the uh, masculine version, the prince of swords, right next to the princess of swords. So you have an energy of two people who are at a distance from one another who want to communicate a message to the other person. Yours, your message here is that you are fine without this person. And it's going to be shocking. It's going to be upsetting to this person. Their news is that how can you do this to me? You know what I'm saying? I just want to talk to you. This person is finding themselves chasing and not getting the response that they want. So mm -mm -mm. tell us about this girl with the snake. It's like now you're holding the snake. Now you look, you know what I'm saying? Now you look like the one with um, to reckon with, you know what I'm saying? And look, we have the Ace of Cups here. This is an energy of newness or starting over or wanting to have a second chance to just start over again. I feel like, again, this person is used to charming you, okay? I feel like that snake is also like a, a energy or a symbol of a charm or being charmed by something. And I feel like this narcissist is so used to being able to charm you, right? Cancer, they're used to being able to get that response from you, that that um, one who's afraid of abandonment, okay? That person who's afraid of being left alone. You're no longer in that energy of being afraid now. So that means that their narcissist grip has lost its touch. Under the deck, nine of swords, see? Cruelty. This person feels like, you know, now you're being cruel. <laughs> 
Do you see how the tables have turned on this person? Now you're being cruel to them because you're not giving them a chance. You know what I'm saying? However, like we said in, in the first part of this message, make sure you watch it on um, part one. But we already said this here with the five of swords, heart with the key and the empress. You were an empress from day one with the magician here. This person had everything that they possibly could have needed to get what they wanted to have you. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, you pretty much handed them you on a platter. OK, that magician is you handing this runner you on a a platter with that devil energy. This person was so busy being busy with third party energies and queen of wands and whatever the hell else they were doing down in the, in the depths of, you know, whatever they didn't realize that they were letting their empress get away. So now when they want to realize it, right. And put their emperor clothes on, but they're kind of nonchalant about it. Right. They're not really standing in their emperorism they're just kind of wearing the emperor's clothes and sitting in the emperor's throne but they're not acting like an emperor acts do you see what i'm saying so they let this emperor empress go with the hierophant here in the tower they're going to learn a lesson but it's going to be a little bit too late do you see what i'm saying ten of pentacles talks about a windfall it talks about something coming in very quickly and almost like a rug being pulled from under this person's feet. That's what's going to happen here. So let's see. Let's look at the Oracle and see what the advice is for you and this person, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about the advice for cancer. Dealing with another cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Tell me about the advice for cancers dealing with another cancer. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about cancer dealing with another cancer. Okay. So we have, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, and want to date. Wedding rings. <laughs> I told you this person was going to ramp it up. Okay. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. And then we have the sword and the rose. This is exactly what I was talking about, like with the narcissist and the empath here. Um, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. So, cancer. And I talk about the sword and the rose a lot. As a matter of fact, I have a series um, of, with the sword and the rose. And I might do a couple of readings later on. Um, because this is very, very much strong, strong twin flame energy here. But I feel like this is more twin flame karmic. And I do feel like perhaps this karmic may learn their lesson. Okay. Um but I feel like it may be for the next person. You see what I'm saying? Um, it may not be for this particular connection. Um, I like you. Someone likes you. Okay. Wedding rings. So this is the energy and the order in which you wanted things to go and expected things to go. And so with the sword and the rose, there's an energy of you worked so hard and now that it's being offered to you or this person is now offering it to you, I feel like here, to be truly honest, I feel like this is a new opportunity. See this Ace of Pentacles here that we were talking about, this new opportunity here. And we even have the Ace of Cups here. And it shows with that Nine of Swords, like this person cannot sleep. And they feel as if you're being cruel towards them. And girl with the snake, see what I'm saying? Now you're the bad person. Because I feel like there is an energy of you have manifested this in your life. This happiness, this emperor that you've been waiting for. 
See what I'm saying? And you have moved on to something new. Now we we have the Ace of Pentacles out here on the board. We have the Ace of Pentacles out here on the board. But either way it goes, you are moved on to something new. You have, like I said, switched the game up on this runner. Now they've become a chaser. Maybe they're now pulling out wedding rings, perhaps. But I honestly feel like you have moved on. Sword in the Rose. Like this is a, a hard wake up call for this narcissist or this emperor here. Okay, so let's clarify with the tarot here before we get to the final outcome here. So tell me about I like you. What is going on with this I like you card? Someone likes you here. And we have the six of wands. This is an energy of someone who's putting you up on a pedestal, okay? This talks about finally being successful in a love connection. This is an energy of being recognized or being rewarded, okay? There's an energy of being praised or someone having pride in the connection. And under the deck, the Queen of Swords. So there's an energy of someone is protective of you. Okay, so you may be in an energy of finding or being with someone or meeting someone who is now very protective of you and putting you up on a pedestal, which is the opposite of what this emperor did with you. You see what I'm saying? They went towards third parties when you were completely available for them. Tell me about wedding rings. Who is going to come up with this? Oh, oh. And we have the Ace of Wands here. That talks about, you know, someone very passionate, something very exciting. And it with the Ace, the Aces represent new or beginnings. And I feel like this is a beginning of a new romance here. Okay. This is beginning of something new. Under the deck, three of wands here. Okay, this is you being extroverted. This is definitely outside and outside relationship or connection. With that eight of cups here, someone is going to be walking away unhappy, walking away unfulfilled. And this is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So I feel like this is your person here. Tell me about the sword and the rose. And I just threw that card just jumped out of the deck. The Seven of Cups. See, this person is confused. They are almost underwater here in their emotions. They're up to their neck in emotions because they can't understand how you could be so cold now. But you're not. You're not being cold. Um, you're being protective of your heart. Do you see what I'm saying? Because they weren't. That's all. Under the deck, Ten of Swords, see? This isn't about you hurting them. It's about saving yourself here with the King of Swords in the background. This is an energy of somebody who is coming in and doing what's best for them. And it's like, I'm sorry, but not sorry. See what I'm saying? Um, and that's why we have the sword and the rose here. So this is classic twin flame reading here crazy crazy so what's the final outcome looking like here for you what is the final outcome for you cancer okay i'm not taking all of those not enough and love under the deck clock Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. And then we have love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. And then we have clock. Need time, takes time, in time cycles, time to heal and progress. Like I said, 
This person, unfortunately, was not enough when you needed it. Now, with unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction, you have all of that. But this person wants more time. But unfortunately, time is not waited for this person this time. Time waited for this person way back here. Way back here until like current energy. And now all of a sudden, now that this person is ready, now they want to say, I need a little more time. And you're just like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Tell me not enough, please. And we have the star. So it's an energy of now that, you know, you're letting this person know it's like your time is up now with the star card. It's like, they're just like, can we, but you know, just give me just one more month. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? One more month and I'll make all of your dreams come true. And you're just like, but you've had 15 years. You know what I mean? Or however long, five years, 20 years, however long this person took, it was not enough for them. You were not enough for them. See what I'm saying? And with the star, they just expected you to just wait forever. Underneath the deck, hanged man, I'm telling you, they left you hanging or they expected you to sit there and wait for them. Do you understand? But with the strength card, you're like, you know what? Mm -mm. I got to do what's best for me. This is not enough for me. I need love. I need passion. I need oneness. I need unconditional love. I need somebody who is going to be there for me when I need them, not just want me to be there when they need me. I need somebody who's going to, I can trust that if I'm sick or if I'm, you know, dying or being attacked, you're going to be there for me, right? Not just somebody who is going to expect you to do everything from them. And then when it's their turn, they're nowhere around. They leave you hanging here. See what I'm saying? And they don't understand it until they get a shock of their life, until it's too late, until someone else is able to come in and take that job from them and do it way better. Okay. Tell me about love, please. Okay. Tell me about love. And we have the page of wands. See, there's an energy of this is someone who's coming in fearless. This person is very exciting. This person has, you know, a lot of attraction and also a lot of energy. <laughs> page of wands talks about somebody who has a lot of energy and they they have a lot of energy cancer and a lot of passion and don't mind having a good time. So there's an energy of you having everything you need and want from this person. Four of wands under the deck and they're committed. Wow. Look at that. And with the three of pentacles, they want you to. What, what, what are you waiting for? <laughs> oh, to go back to this person who didn't want you from day one when you gave them everything you had and they took advantage of it, hurt you, put you through third party energies, cheated, lied, dogged you, left you for dead. Is that what you want to go back to? Are you going to continue to give them more time? <laughs> I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure. Tell me about the clock, please. Tell me. And we have the 10 of wands. Look at this. You don't have any more time. Ten of Wands talks about somebody who's tired, sick and tired of being sick and tired. This is somebody who's burnt out. They're tired of waiting. They're tired of struggling. They're tired of being stressed out. They're tired of being by themselves. They're tired of all the responsibility being on them. They're tired of all the burden of the connection being on them. And they're done. Under the deck, King of Pentacles. They want someone that they can settle down with. And with that nine of pentacles, they will go and be back to pre-empress on you in a heartbeat with the hermit here. This person is very much happy going into hermit mode to get what they want. So I wouldn't mess with this cancer <laughs> if I were you. 
um, because this cancer now sees their worth. You see the king of pentacles and you see gain here on top of the nine of pentacles. There's an energy of this person is realizing how much they could gain how much stability they realize that they can actually put themselves in position for this king of pentacles to come on in if they just get rid of this dead weight that does is not ready to settle down this dead weight that's in this two of wands energy here of you know and i said two of wands here it's not i said ten of wands it's two of wands this is somebody who's playing it safe i'm sorry Somebody who's going back and forth, who's who's playing it safe. They're not really making a decision. They're just making plans about making a decision. This is bullshit, Cancer. This is a lie. This is gaslighting at its finest. Don't believe it. If you do, you'll be believing it for 20 years. Okay? If you want to to believe that someone is going to commit, then they need to actually do it. <laughs> and until they do it, you're not committed. You're not married until you're married. Okay, don't let any trick fool you into thinking it is any other way. Okay, because guess what? When they're ready to step out and do what they wanna do, they do it. See what I'm saying? So until there's true commitment, you're not committed. You're free to move about the country. Two of Wands. They want to play it safe. You can play it safe. And with the Hermit card, you're willing to be by yourself even. Four of Swords, more peace. Justice card here. Twin flame karmic energy. You're not really rocking with this one. So I I see you standing in your power here. I'm going to pull a few oracle and we're going to close out the message here. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about cancer. Stand with another cancer. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. So we have, you deserve love. See what I'm saying? You are lovable, cancer, and you deserve it. You don't deserve to sit around and be put on the back burner or strung along by someone. If they want to be committed, be committed. If this person wants to date and be open, then you date and be open. Period. Period. Take care of yourself first before you see about anybody else's needs when they're in that energy. Do you understand? Now, you have angel numbers, confirmation. So you're going to see a, a series of numbers over and over and over, whether it's 1111, we've got that coming through twin flame energy strongly, 1212, we've got 1020, Okay, we have 272 coming through very strong. You could be seeing the, these numbers in sequence. You could be seeing 1020, 1020, 1002, that's 10 and then 20 in the reverse, and then seven. So ones, twos, and sevens coming through strongly here for you. So these are your angel numbers, and this will confirm for, as well for some of you who are listening. You will resonate with that very strongly. Okay, and then we have learning number four. I told you at the beginning of the reading, I told you we would pull the Hierophant card, and we've got it the second time. This card refers to learning, someone learning a lesson, okay? Okay. Someone standing in a, a higher, a higher power, okay, getting energy from or getting uh, information from the divine here, okay. So 
this is you holding your hand up as well. You have learned to have boundaries. You have learned to protect your energy. You have learned to protect your space. Okay, remember organizing, cleaning your space from the energy vampires. My ears are ringing. So this should be coming through very strongly for you, Cancers. Cleanse your space and keep it clear. Learn your lessons. Ascend into this karmic journey and ascend through until you are connected with your true soulmate. It is going to happen. It is on its way. I want to tell you all, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Since this was, this ends up being not a free, um, well, a free extended and not a paid extended. I just want to tell you from the bottom of my heart, you guys, I love you so much. Please, please subscribe to the channel, you guys. I can't ask you enough to make sure you all are subscribed. Make sure that you are liking the video, that you share the video, you guys. I really do appreciate all of the shares and keep it coming. Um, also, you guys, um, please go to the website and just browse around. Check it out. Click on the buttons. Look at the drop downs. The prices are different for different time frames. So please Make sure you look at that very specifically and let me know if there's anything you would like to see added to the website. I am working on it this week. So let me know if there are specific readings that, you know, you feel I could offer or should offer. And I will take that in mind. You can email me. You can email me from the website and let me know what you think. Let me know if you would like to book a reading with me. You could pay for your reading. You can even book a reading for a friend or a family member or a loved one. You can get a e-card or a gift card and purchase a reading for a friend and give it to them for Christmas. Okay, it's up to you. I love you guys so much. Take care. Thank you for purchasing the extendeds. They are all $11.11. All my readings are timeless. Click through the timestamps. You can go back to two years from now. And if a title resonates with you, check it out. And if there is an extended, it will be available in the link or the description box below. I love you. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. And God bless. Bye. We will be doing cancer, um, the weekly winners. Um, I will be announcing those later in the day today, but this is an extended and a freebie and uh, something from me to you. So I just wanted to start the day with that. I love you guys so much. Take care. God bless. Bye.